All right, in today's Taiwan special, I'm going to talk about uh, some quirkiness of the Taiwan culture. Now, look at this picture behind me. Now, if you're listening on audio, then you need to go to Instagram.com slash Asia W Love. Asia with love. They just, just the W. It's from Asia with love. When, whenever I do pictures about culture and funness and goodness in Asia, I send those pictures those fun, happy events, not controversial political stuff, but just happy, fun cultures shots to from Asia with love, the Instagram account, YouTube, that sort of thing. And this will be on that Instagram account. So the picture I'm using here, Instagram, the ID is Asia W love. And you can see this picture. So look behind me. And uh, in fact, I'm going to scoop myself over here in the video. And there we go. I'm out of the way. You can see this water on all this tile, and it's outside. Now, this is all bathroom tile. That's right. These are bathroom tiles. You tile the wall, the floor. You put a faucet, great big shower chamber, uh, or maybe not. Maybe you got a bathtub in addition to it. These are bathroom floor tiles, but they're outside on the sidewalk. And something else you might not know about this road, you might have been able to guess, it's at an incline. It's slightly rolling downward. It's, it's angled downward. So, this isn't even a flat surface. Now, I mean, it's a little, it's a little bit steep for a sidewalk. Uh, there might, you know, a sidewalk has an incline, like a drain, drain direction. It'll be subtle. This is not subtle. It's, it's, it's not a problem. It's mostly level, but it is rolling downward, and anyone can know it. You put a marble on there, it's going to move. Now, I don't know, maybe every foot it might go down an inch. Maybe every yard it might go down an inch. Like, it's, no, it's, it's, it's not a problem, but it's noticeable. Now, do you see the water beaded up on it? It's glossy. It had just rained. This actually is rain from that, 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 that terrible monsoon disaster. Jesse, are you going to be okay? Because everybody was all worried about me. That this is that that rain. It's been raining here for two weeks, and it's gonna it's supposed to be going on two and a half or three weeks. And I can't skate, and I am very angry about that. But this rain is on the bathroom tile that's on the sidewalk. Now I got a question for you. When you're walking along that in your shoes, is it slippery? Why are the Taiwanese using bathroom tile? to pave their sidewalks. They do this all over the place. What? I've also seen them use granite and marble stuff outside to pave the sidewalks. What? Use, use something porous. Use something grippy, not slick. I mean, granite is incredible. It's like shiny granite. Like for their sidewalk, they they take they'll maybe take busted up pieces of granite from a building that torn down. But they a lot of the buildings here are lined and tiled with granite and, and marble and all kinds of fun good stuff, expensive stuff. And then they tear the building down. Well, what about the marble and that expensive granite that you were so you know that often becomes little pieces and bricks of smaller tiles to do smaller jobs. But I seriously, I mean, granite and stuff. That's that's. I don't get waste, cutting out a slab of granite and then throwing it away is very, very wasteful. I mean, I, I just, I, I love granite too much. I, I just can't imagine throwing away a slab of granite. I can't imagine that. But if they can't pave it with granite or marble, they'll pave it with bathroom tile. Very rarely do they actually pave it with normal, ordinary cement or, or something that's, that's going to be um, uh, porous. Now, You'd think that after a long time they would have figured out. I mean, you know, there's a sometimes you, you can see in the picture there's this this gray, uh, like a strip running through the middle of it, about the width of one tile, maybe half. That's normal cement with semi small pea gravel, like it's gravel a little smaller than pea gravel, pressed into the top. So it's a little grippy surface. It's not normal, ordinary cement. It's kind of nice looking and presentable. And they're, they're, they do that a lot. Or they, do, they make hot tubs out of that stuff. But that's porous and you don't slip on it. Why don't they make the whole thing out of the same thing? Why don't they make a tile that's going to be porous or absorb water or be much more grippy? 
Why don't they? Why? Why not? Uh, uh, is there a heat treatment for sand? George, do, do they? Uh, well, it's, I, okay, I guess sandpaper would be the way to do it. But I, I, I suppose there's more than one way to skin a cat. By the time I put this out there, who knows what technology? But, but wh why not? Why not embed sand? into the surface of it. Why not? Why have this super sli why use slippery slick bathroom tile on the sidewalk? I'm going to tell you why. Because they make this stuff by the shipload. They manufacture this stuff here because it's a manufacturing economy. When you've got a hammer in your hand, everything looks like a nail. And when you've got a warehouse full of bathroom tile, everything looks like a bathroom. That's what's going on here. They didn't use this stuff because they did research and decided it was best. They had a surplus of it and it's the cheapest, most efficient way to cover the thing up. And it looks nice. Those Americans buy these tiles and those rich folk in China and other people in New Zealand and Australia and, and, and these other, oh, these are really nice tile. I want to make my outdoors look really nice with it. That's, it, that's what's going on. Now, um, they don't know, they don't know better. This is the culture where the plastic will stay on the refrigerator for 10, 15, 20 years. The, the plastic around the frame of the widescreen TV will be on the frame of the widescreen TV for its life. And they'll never take it off. They, they, they do this because they live in a manufacturing society and they don't get the concept of, of the difference between manufacturing something in, in, in the best way to use it as an end consumer. Now, should Taiwan change its law? See, this, this is where the controversial part comes in. See, uh,很多的西方人会,他们会到台湾,他们会批评,批评,批评,他们会说,哎,你们的法律需要改变,就是很不安全,所以你需要改变,但是无所不用,不用,不用,不用。Uh, Everybody is safe. You get many Americans that come to Taiwan and they will say, uh, you got to change this. You, you got to make this work. You know, I mean, this is wrong and they'll complain about it. And if you ever did get the law changed, they would actually push too far with changing the law and start harassing people because they would have changed the law without understanding it. If the government's going to change a the law, they need to have ownership of the reason why. And Americans just telling them to is only going to perpetuate another myth that we've got to do things the white way or they, you know, the whole world has to do things the white way. And that's what kind of sort of led to this in the first place. And the thing is, nobody gets hurt on these things. They're all super careful. They see the tile. They know when it's been raining because, I mean, you can't be outside when it's raining and not know it. So they know when it's been raining because they all have these in front of their own houses and their friends' houses and at their schools. And they all know how this stuff works. And so when it rains, they just walk on it carefully. I mean, it's loaded with water and people are walking across it parking their motorcycles on this. Like any of those scooters they're parked on that, I could just push it and it slide right off. And they're going up there, driving up, stopping, braking, turning. Like, like braking as in stopping, like B-R-A-K-E, braking. So, I mean, they're, it's, and they're not falling down. They're used to this. The Americans are such pansies. We're, we're so used to having everything so easy to use and uber safe that, we don't know how to walk on that without falling down. Now, part of this is in Taiwan, if, if you fall down on that, a judge will not give you lawsuit money. We'll be like, you, you, you're an idiot. Don't be an idiot. And then you won't get hurt on the tile. Idiot. Case dismissed. Like that's how that would happen because people are expected to have ownership. Now, we got this Florida shooter. Uh, you shot a bunch of stuff at the, 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 the Jackson... Uh, the, 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 the Jackson computer uh, game, you know, in Jackson, Jacksonville. Ja ja yeah. And everyone says it's someone else's fault. The reason he shot them is because uh, conservatives uh, act like conservatives and don't act like liberals about guns. We need conservatives to act like liberals and then 
there will be no more killing anywhere in the world, and that'll be the end of it all. Or it'll get so much better. And that's one of the big problems anyway. No. We need people to take ownership. We need people to take ownership for their lives. Um, the, the, the problem that we've got in the world today is that there's a severe, huge lack of ownership. And what we need is people to own their choices, own their results. That's what we need. And Taiwan's a country where lawsuits are not going to pay off if you slip in, on the tile. So I hope Taiwan learns about this. But, but the way to solve this problem is not to try to tell Taiwan to do things the white way. This should not be illegal to, to bathroom tile your patio. If you want to bathroom tile your patio, it's your patio. It's your own private. The sidewalk really isn't for public use anyway. Uh, it's, it's your own sidewalk. Make it how you want. Uh, you can park whatever you want on the sidewalk. People are welcome to walk past it, maybe. But you're not, you're, not, you're not guaranteeing any passage on your sidewalk, on the patio in front of your house. That's, that's also great. I like that. If there's going to be a public sidewalk. Let the public manage it. Don't tell me to manage the public sidewalk. You know, that's another thing. I mean, t t by having personal responsibility, people are responsible for stuff. And having that, it's a very polite, responsible, safe society. So they don't see the problem. The solution is not to go in and criticize, not to tell America's government to make Taiwan change their laws, and not for Americans to go to Taiwan and tell Taiwan to change their laws. The solution is to get Americans in Taiwan. Get them talking to the owners and saying, you know, that's bathroom tile? And that's, that's kind of like wearing a tuxedo to a movie date. You know, you're kind of overdressing the occasion. You know, if you, if you really wanted to do things nice, then make a special button in the wall for the hot water heater rather than going to the breaker box and opening up the big, fat, huge, dangerous breaker box every time you take a shower to turn the hot water heater on like everyone does in every single home, probably. I, I haven't seen wall switches for, for heaters in Taiwan for hot water heaters. The hot water heaters, I mean, it's a, it's a tropical island. They do not leave water heaters on all day long. Not many. Not, it's not a thing. You turn a hot water heater on five minutes before you go to the shower. And you turn off when you're done. And the rest of the day, if you want hot water, you boil it for your tea. Other than that, room temperature water is actually kind of comfortable. So people just don't use it. But I've never seen switches in the wall for hot water heaters in Taiwan. I've seen them in Hong Kong and Vietnam, but I've not seen them in Taiwan. We need Americans in Taiwan you know, complaining and whining and talking about this stuff and, and loving Taiwan, not, not criticizing, criticizing, oh, idiot, yeah, that's so bad. We need Americans in Taiwan who love Taiwan are going to laugh and joke about this. They're going to say, oh, isn't it adorable and cute? Isn't it, I, I love living here and I've got stuff that, that I do that's idiotic. I don't know how to use chopsticks for you. I, I use this barbaric forks, smattering au jus all over my plate while I eat my steak and throwing salad dressing everywhere rather than just using the nice chopsticks that pick it up and put it in the mouth. There's stuff that I do that's clumsy and silly. So aren't we all, we need humans to know each other and we need Americans to be in Taiwan. And that's one of the things that Congress needs to understand. So do Americans. So we need this, it, this type of stuff is only the type of stuff that you're only going to learn if you actually go and live in other countries. If I was in Taiwan, you know, first two years when I was here, I saw this and I thought it was ridiculous. But I've been here a decade and I'm like, I get that. I get that. 